Hey everyone, Genome here, coming at you with my next unboxing video. Well, this has been the week of boxes. I received like three or four, whatever, yeah, four, four packages this week, so, Whoa. so it's been pretty good. Got a couple AOKs, one, uh, or also a couple of uh, contest winnings. In fact, the box I'm going to be opening tonight is one of my contest winnings. Uh, this is for Nerd vs. Fat's uh, Push to 200 Subscribers contest. I won that a little while ago. And uh, said box arrived the other day, and I've been waiting to open it so I could do it justice for the videos. I only need to know one thing. Where they are. So, here we go. Let's see what treasures lie within, shall we? All right. So, in all honesty, I kind of forget what the actual winnings were for this. I usually don't uh, pay much attention to what the winnings are going to be uh, for a contest. I usually just enter if it looks like it's going to be an interesting contest or if I'm in a contest mood. Tearing a box on first team. There we go. All right. Quite a large box, actually. Wow. This appears quite the, to be quite the haul. First off, I want to thank uh, Josh for posting contest. Uh, if you're not already subbed to his channel or watching his content, I encourage you to get it, do so. I'll uh, post something in the comments below or excuse me, in the description below uh, with a link to his site. And also a link to my prize winning video. Prize thanks to the, the RNG gods. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Extremely well packaged. We got bubble gap for days. All right, now we're getting out of the crux of things. But look at this. Holy shit! That's an awful lot of swag here. It's got some nice heft to it too. So, after removing some painter's tape, we will see. Okay, now we're getting into some stuff. <laughs> Might have to edit some of this out. <laughs> Take it from me, folks. This stuff is not getting damaged in the mail. Just a little Nick thank you note from Josh. All right, so before I get into the bubble wrap, let's take a look inside here. <laughs> you know, if you have a tape fetish, this would be a pretty good video for you. All right, look at that. Even on the interior, he takes no chances. I like this guy. Josh, you're a consummate professional. And if you have stock in 3M, you're doing well. All right. I have freed the books from their cardboard captivity. Let's go ahead, since I'm in your freeing mood here. Wow, this is a stack. I have a lot of cleanup to do, but I'm done. Uh, I know y'all want to see books. I'm wanting to see too. I do see some venom on top here. Could be interesting. All right, so, but I shall get this first. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Down to the next one. So here is one stack. And here's another. So yeah. <laughs> Man, it looks like a Venom freaking Fiesta. So I'll show it to you in its captivity of tape. So everything appears to be bagged and board, which is sweet. And I think I'm going to need a bigger display. So we'll start. I'm taping. All right, folks, I think I finally got through it. Just to give you an idea of the secure nature of the packing, here's the tape that was on the comics. Not bad, not bad. I'm trying to think of a blue joke there. Nothing's coming to me. All right, so let's get down to it. I'll probably do this in two different stacks. Here's the, the larger stack. First up, we got Wild Things. It looks like Venom and Carnage are, you know, pining over the same girl. 
The only reason I'm feeling this up, I'm not trying to feel up the... The, <laughs> the lady, of course. But um, it's actually embossed. I didn't. I, I kind of noticed that. So cool. Doesn't really strike you as an embossed cover, right? It hasn't seen that in a long time. But there we go. Embossed. Very cool. Uh, I, I used to have this book. This is one of the books that got destroyed. This is uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number 13. Uh, this is back in the days when they stuck Ghost Rider in just about everything. <laughs> he was, I know he had his own series, but he was almost probably more popular as a um, as a guest appearance than anything else. He was a lot like uh, uh, Punisher and you know a few other characters who just flitted about, and Wolverine and Venom who flitted about from book to book to book to help move print. Uh, let's see, next we have Lark's Killer from Devil's Due Comics. Pretty sweet little cover there. That's kind of an Egyptian flair with all the eyes for buttons and all. I dig. Ah, here's um, something I gave away. I gave away the first issue of this. Uh, this is Nomad number four. I gave it away in my contest, my subscribers contest a while back. Nomad was a very interesting character uh, back with the new revamp of, of Heroes. Well, not revamp, but the new um, release of Heroes that they did back in the 90s. They had Nomad, re-released Deathlock, Darkhawk, Sleepwalker, a bunch of new stuff. Uh, Rage, there was a guy Rage, he was with the Avengers, I think. Uh, New Warriors. Um, I'm trying to think, there's some, there's actually a couple more. Uh, oh yeah, Full Killer was another one. But yeah, there's a bunch of, of heroes that were released back then. So we got Barbed Wire. Ah, oh, Dark Horse Comics, gotta love. Sealed still in the poly bag, Barbed Wire. Very nice. Very heavy stock. Looks like they're built in, is that it's either a hard core? No, looks like it's actually a built-in um, uh, backing board. Very cool, man. I love Dark Hawk, or Dark Hawk. I love uh, Dark Horse stuff. Is that a fact? Mm. That's a fact. So, very, very cool. Once again, hopefully you can see it all right. So far, an excellent haul. Uh, we got God Country here, number one. A lot of number ones here. Let's move on. Oh, this is cool. This reminds me of Shadow of the Colossus. This is Guy Country number five. We have a giant, giant something or other walking around in the background there. Very cool, very cool. He might be elemental or something. Lightning, lightning is dancing around him. I'm running out of room in my display here. Uh, we got God Country number six. What looks like uh, the tower or the black tower from Lord of the Rings on there. Copyright notwithstanding. We got another Dark Horse uh, comic. We got Black Hammer number one. Dig the cover a lot. Especially back here, this guy looks like a Cenobite or something standing around back here. Very cool, very cool. We have Black Hammer number two. I think they're going up against uh, something a bit more sinister than the first one. I don't know if I can fit any more in there. Let's see. Maybe one more or two. Okay, now for the more risque of covers, we have Soulfire Zero. I haven't seen Zero. Is this Dark Horse? No, Aspen. Dark Horse used to have some Zero issues, like uh, Aliens vs. Predator Zero, which is kind of a limited release. It was all in black and white, which was cool. It's like a precursor story to the AVP story. Oh, wow. Look at this cover here. Michael Turner cover. This is Soul Fire number five. Wow. That's pretty spectacular. <laughs> I don't know if it's art, but I like it. Check that out. Freaking sweet. All right, that's pile number one. Man, what a freaking haul this has turned out to be. Josh, thanks again, my friend. No wonder you wrapped it all so well. This is a lot of money just in cover price. And that's so far, I might have to go up on the wall somewhere. That's that's gorgeous. Okay. Next we have Darkhawk number 14 with uh, the aforementioned Venom, who makes a guest appearance. I don't remember this one. I had twice Dark Darkhawks. I know I had the one with the Punisher for sure, which is not too long after this, which is pretty fun. Uh, 
Uh, we got Invergence with Harley Quinn, number one. Looks like Poison Ivy and Catwoman are there. Ultimate X. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see. Arthur Adams cover. Pretty epic kind of look to it. We got the return of Wolverine number one. And details are inside, as it says down here. Pretty cool. I'm not uh, a huge Wolverine guy, but uh, this cover looks really, really sweet. He's got pretty messed up. <laughs> but I hope his healing factor is still working. So uh, we got the Mighty Captain Marvel number one. Might be a new spec book, right? With the um, new version, which some people allude to as Carl Manvers. Um, irony notwithstanding. Uh, we have Electra number one, Marvel Knights. Wow, another pretty sweet cover here. I'm trying to see if the physics hold up there, but. They always do this thing with Electra, like no matter if she's jumping or whatever, her legs are completely tucked. So uh, it must be an insider thing with the artist <laughs> to keep her so uh, uh, consistent. And finally, we have Brightest Day number eight with Hawk Girl Unleashed. Another really sweet cover. This is a Finch cover. I like the kind of grainy look to it. And there you have it. So what a haul, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back up here just cause it's so, Amazingly good. So, Josh, uh, over at Nervous Fat, thank you so much for such a great price pack. I know this is uh, this cost you a fortune to put together and ship, and, and then probably take you two hours to package. But um, yeah, man, I am uh, incredibly appreciative. Uh, congratulations uh, on hitting over 200 subscribers, of course. Uh, also want to thank, or yeah, I want to thank, but also enjoyed uh, the videos the other people who submitted. Uh, did well that sentence came out all wrong didn't it <laughs> let's just say I want to show my appreciation for everyone who entered the contest and took the time to make a video uh, he's a great youtuber definitely uh, deserving of subs and watches and obviously he puts out a great prize pack so I'll go ahead and wrap this up now besides you're kind of wearing me out with your incessant babbling in my ear all night yada, 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 yada. so thanks for watching uh, there'll be another unboxing video maybe maybe tomorrow-ish Depends if I can get this one edited tonight or not, because uh, I have another one from a kind of a newer source there on the scene, but he's not really newer. He's been all over the place. He just uh, doesn't have a huge uh, channel right now or anything, so we can work on getting that done as well. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Until next time, this is Genome. Just loving all the boxes this week. Out.